I added beef mince to the potatoes. First, take one kilogram of potatoes. Cut them in half, and then in slices, like this. Let me know if you have a recipe for beef mince with potatoes. I'd love to know. And before I forget, tell me where you're watching us from so I can send you a special hug. Today's hug is for Brown Wendy from Jamaica. I'm happy to hear you're loving our recipes. In a pan, add some olive oil, then pour the potatoes in and let them fry for 15 minutes on medium heat. You guys, this recipe is incredibly delicious. Make it at home and then come back here to tell me what you think. I'm sure you'll love it. Now season our potatoes with salt to taste, black pepper to taste, half teaspoon of paprika, oregano to taste, and give it a good stir so that the seasonings will give a rich flavor to the potatoes. After you make beef mince with potatoes like this, you won't want to do it any other way because besides being easy and practical, it is very tasty. Now pour the potatoes in a baking pan and spread them out in an even way. In the pan, add 400 grams of beef mince and stir the meat until it's completely shredded like this. When it gets to that point, add one chopped onion and cook it for two to three minutes while stirring all the time. Now pour 400 grams of tomato sauce, salt to taste, black pepper to taste, oregano to taste, and stir to combine. I'm also going to add two cloves of minced garlic and mix it all together with the other ingredients. Now add half cup of water, one bay leaf, and stir a little more. Then cover and let it cook for seven minutes on low heat. Now just pour all the beef mince over the potatoes, spread it evenly, add 200 grams of cottage cheese, then grated mozzarella, finally parsley to taste, oregano to taste, a drizzle of olive oil and bake it in the oven for 15 minutes at 390 degrees Fahrenheit. You guys, just looking at this recipe makes me want to try it, and it's not even ready yet. So just imagine when it's ready. You'll be running to make it, I'm sure. And our recipe is ready. Look how delicious it is. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.